Hello everybody and welcome to the Team Fortress 2 Nuzlocke Challenge. Now, to my knowledge, this has never been done before, um, and so I'm going to actually explain it because some people just may not know what it is. Um, a Nuzlocke Challenge comes from Pokemon, and it basically means that when you're playing through the game, if your Pokemon ever happens to faint, instead of, you know, just healing him like a normal person, you delete him from the game like a psychopath because emotional attachments are for the weak, I guess. Um, I decided to do that in Team Fortress 2, so I gathered all the scout weapons that do damage, um, and basically every time I die with a weapon, I am going to delete that sucker from my inventory. It's going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, I'm just curious to get into it and see what'll happen. Alright, here is my Pokemon lineup. Page 3 in my backpack is what I'm going to be pulling from. Alright, I'm gonna start out with my Force of Nature. Alright, here we go. After a wee bit of problems, I think we're ready to- oh god, okay. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be encountering some resistance. I don't want to have, like, any other weapons but stock. I guess I'm going to be going with my, um, <clears throat> Milk Jar. Oh god, they're already outside of spawn. Alright, at least I can say that the first weapon that I'm using... Should I refer to these as Pokemon? I feel like that's gonna be very awkward. I, I at least got a kill, if nothing else. They have quite a few snipers. Honestly, it's kind of not good not being able to use, like, my secondary or melee or anything. But, you know, I'll push through. Alright, that was close. But my... What, what Pokemon would this even be? My, my Force of Nature has two kills. I'm not gonna do anything super stupid like that. Alright, it looks like we're organizing a mini push here. I'm gonna let my soldier go through first and, like, you know, clean up and stuff. Actually, wait. I hear a sentry, but... Okay, yeah, this is just gonna be my soldier's problem. I don't know where the frick that is. I don't want to die with this thing. Oh, god, this guy. You turn around and try to snipe me. Okay, wait. Haha, <laughs> that's the scout that's been, like, gunning for me. At least I can do this with the Force of Nature, and by can, I mean, like, there's a good chance that this is possible. There we go. Oh, God! No! Alright, Force of Nature, you had a good run, but you have to go away now. Alright, the next one that I'm gonna use is the Baby Faces Blaster. I'm gonna tell you right now... I'm not gonna last too long. Now, this guy is friendly, but I value my boost over my likability, so we're just gonna do this. What the heck even is this weapon? I don't even use the Force of Nature ever. I had, like, zero boost, and then I instantly got all of my boost fighting that spy, and then I instantly lost it all, and now I instantly have it all back. Okay, this guy is trying to lure me into his chasm of tricks, and I'm not going to be going into that hole today, Mr. Demonite, sir. Now, where the frick did he go? You are dang fast while using this. I don't think I can say many good things about the Force and Eight or the, uh, the Baby Faces Blaster, but this is at least one of them. Like, I, I know I made the weapon fix video on this thing and everything, but goodness gracious, they need to fix the boost getting lost by, like, a fly landing on your shoulder. This thing is... It's not satisfying to use at all, like, haha, scout go wee when you have boost. But you don't have boost, like, ever. Now, it does charge, admittedly, faster than I thought it did. But, no, 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 no! Bonk! Oh, I got a random crit, though, all is well. Somehow, I didn't restore all of my boost with that. There's, like, a, a bot invasion. I don't know if I, like, said this at the beginning, but if I die to a bot, I'm not freaking deleting my weapon. That is... that is too stupid. Oh, that's the sentry right there. Oh, it's alright. I was being a little bit careless. Alright, baby faces blaster. You died as you lived. Freaking useless. You know, maybe I was being too harsh on the baby faces blaster, looking at the next weapon I have to use. I don't... I don't really like this weapon. Um, it's... It, how do I say freaking terrible? Like, I, I don't think I've ever found a good use for the back... the back shooter. I don't even know what the weapon's called. It's it's so bad that I've just pushed the name of it out of my memory actively. Alright, I saw a, a... chapping gentleman run down the hall. But he's facing my direction, so it doesn't matter, but... 
I, I guess, like, what are the stats on this? I actually need to check. Oh, it's just less accurate. It doesn't, it doesn't actually do less damage, so I should be okay. I just have to freaking get really up in people's faces. Also, it occurred to me earlier that I said the word chapping, and I think I was meaning to say the word spiffing, but I'm honestly not sure if that's any better or worse. I'm not British. I don't know. But if I was, I would use the word spiffing in every conversation I had. No! I actually did surprisingly better than I thought I would with this, but it's alright. I don't like this weapon anyway. Alright, next on the pedestal of fun is the soda popper. Soda Popinski was a great guy in Punch-Out, and I'm, I'm sure that somehow translates to Team Fortress 2. Okay, I like this weapon already. Now, I'm gonna be, like, really honest with this one. I don't remember what they updated the hype to do, because I've played, like, so many different versions of Team Fortress 2. That whatever the hype does, I, I is it still the five jumps? I think it still is the five jumps, but you have to deal damage to charge it. Well, you know, some mysteries in life just go unanswered because we're going to freaking delete it. It's okay because the next weapon that I have to use is the shortstop. And boy, oh boy, is this the best scout weapon in my opinion. Now, there are approximately two snipers shooting at me, and I don't really feel like dying before I get to use my favorite weapon. So we're just going to freaking trudge through liquid feces. Okay, so funny story, right? I was meaning to press my funny bind, and I accidentally pressed my kill bind that was right next to it. So we're gonna pretend that the entire last, like, 15 seconds didn't happen, and we're just gonna continue to use this because I make my own rules. Also, this guy switched to the baby face's blaster solely because I killed him with it. Dummy! Oh, no way! No way! <laughs> okay, you know what? That's just the beauty of the shortstop. When you give the shortstop respect, the shortstop gives respect to you, and you can just survive with one HP. No, but like, real talk with this thing, this is the best scatter gun. I don't care what you think. Here, wait. Yeah, I basically got that kill. Okay, that kill, I really got. I don't, okay, so it's kinda hard, cause I'm gonna have to go back through my, my footage and see which one was the MVP because I don't remember like how many kills I'm getting with each weapon Okay, see these are the easy kills that we get with the shortstop now. Oh Frick. Oh freak. This guy's fast. Oh frick. Okay. That was a little bit unexpected Well, let's let's host a, a small funeral for the shortstop the best scattergun Okay, next weapon. Alright, this is the part of the video where things go from I'm probably going to get a few kills per life to this is really gonna freaking suck because now I'm onto the secondaries and melees and I'm not really confident in my ability to gun people down with the winger of all things. So at least I can like jump high. Like, oh, I guess I, guess I can't even jump high enough to get up there. This is maybe not going to be what I'm expecting. Oh god. Well, I didn't actually do any damage with the winger, but it's okay because I don't have to look at it anymore. Alright, this is the pretty boy's pocket pistol. Uh, I think- does this give me damage vulnerability? Maybe, hopefully? It at least refills my health. I, I have a better chance of winning fights than I do with the winger. It's only by a little bit, but I'm gonna take every little bit that I can get here. It's alright. We're almost getting one. Oh. <coughs> now, there's a reason why I basically only use the Criticola in Team Fortress 2. My aim with pistols... I don't know what it is about pistols. I, I just can't use them. I The bullets will outline the enemy, even if my crosshair is right on him. It, it's like a beginner trying to play CSGO. It just... It doesn't work. All right. All right. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> this is... I don't think I'm even going to be able to do damage. At least, like, I've already set the bar so low with secondaries, I didn't even land a single shot with the winger. I at least was able to hit someone with this one, which is more than I can say. The problem is that I'm not gonna be able to even attack people if I miss. 
like, the reload time is basically, like, 16 seconds, I think it is, maybe shorter, but I don't like my chances, like, now I just have to sit here and not get sniped. I don't, I don't know what they expect you to do with the cleaver, I'm gonna be honest. It's like, it doesn't do anything well, I don't know why you would use this over the pistol, or like, literally any of the other secondaries. Even the winger has situational uses, the cleaver's just like, what do I do with this, like, throw it and miss and then cry and try to hit him with my melee? It's not good, I've gotten one hit so far, and I've, I thought I was pretty good with this weapon, so maybe not. You know what we should do? This is going to be the best strategy in history. You're gonna crit boost me while I'm holding the cleaver. And I'm gonna do like 80 damage per shot. Oh, I figured out why I don't like the cleaver, so... Whenever you throw it, like, like, let me see if I can do this in slow motion. Whenever you throw it and change directions, it doesn't matter because you still throw it the original direction that you clicked and not wherever you're facing. So you can't actively track with this. You just have to throw it and hope you get lucky. If they fix that, this might actually be a decent weapon. Alright, all of my team just respawn at the same time, so... I, I might be able to just spam it down mid. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but I don't really have that many other options when my only option of attack takes like 8 seconds to actually work. Oh! I got a kill. I technically did like 20 damage and then the the heavy got the kill, but I I my name is in the kill feed and I'm using the cleaver. And you know, sometimes in life that's just what you got to take. Oh, I actually hit someone. I got a kill. Oh! How did that guy not see that? Oh, he did. Never mind. It's all right. We're in the matrix. We're in the matrix. Come on, recharge faster. No. All right. I'm not going to win this fight now. I had a chance and I blew it. From now on, I'm going to count the ham as part of the cleaver. Because it looks like this ham was cut with the cleaver, I guess. Um, and also, I just don't want to sit there freaking doing nothing while the weapon recharges. So we'll, we'll just we'll pretend that it's the same thing. We're being spawn camped again. But at least this time, my aim is usable. Not good, but usable. Well, I have lasted a lot longer with this weapon than I have all the others. I don't really think I can contribute that to the weapon, though. I think that's just... I, I have exactly one chance of success, and then I have to sit there for eight seconds. I basically respawn every time I throw this. If I get, like, freaking reflect killed with this cleaver, I'm gonna delete, like, all of the cleavers from my inventory. Because you can't even really play the game after that. You just, you lose forever. Oh, wow, I actually got a kill. <laughs> oh! Oh, I got a, a technically a cleaver kill. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Oh, he's doing the same- no, no, wait, that was the Mad Milk. This guy's chasing me- oh god! Yes! <laughs> okay, the inclusion of the ham makes us so much better. Otherwise, this is gonna be impossible. Oh! No! No! It was such a good run! It was such a good run. But unfortunately, all errors must end. Rip in peace. This is going to be probably the most uneventful life that will ever exist in Team Fortress 2. If I get a single kill with this, I'm going to make it the MVP. No questions asked. I, I seriously don't know how anybody is supposed to use the Force or the Fan of War to get any kind of kills whatsoever. I, I, I'm literally going to make some people think that I'm friendly because I'm not even going to be able to do damage. Alright, that, that was a mercy kill. I'm, I'm glad I died fast with that. The Atomizer actually has an interesting stat, where you can mini-crit melee attacks when you're airborne. Now, I forgot they did this until I was equipping it, and I was like, Oh, hey frick, this actually might be possible to get kills with. It is just a very, very sucky version of the Market Gardener, because you have no ability to hit people while airborne. Wait, what? What the heck was that? I like... <laughs> I became one with the ceiling. I have a feeling we're going to be breezing through the melees really fast. 
All right, it's occurred to me that winning melee fights as Scout is going to be freaking impossible, so we're going to use... I don't remember what the Pokemon move is. It's like... Oh. <laughs> it's like a... Baton Pass or something like that. Yeah, it, it's called the Criticola. I, freaking, if I don't use this, it's not going to be possible to win. Okay, as you can see, already a clutch. Never mind. I have the Rap Assassin now, which is interestingly not even the worst option that I could have, because at least I have some way to hit people not up close. I don't know if this works with the Criticola, but if it does, that would be incredible. Um, unfortunately, this thing is basically a worse version of the Cleaver, where you trade off uh, it actually working consistently to uh, having a melee attack, which does like three damage. It's not very good. I, I can't really think of many uses for this, but maybe someone out there is an adamant believer in the power of Christmas or something. Alright, Medic, we're gonna go on an advent- okay, we'll screw you two. It also seems like they're getting quite a few, um, shall we say, not too bad players on their team. I don't imagine the rest of this video being a whole long time. I somehow hit somebody with that. Not the person I was aiming for, but somebody. If I get somebody with a melee kill on this, I'm gonna be just freaking... Why was this guy not shooting me? I don't know if, like, people think that I'm memeing. <laughs> Wait, Dame? What does Dame mean? <laughs> oh, come on. That was like a perfect shot. That was so good, and you freaking ruined it by hit registration. Wait, what? Oh, I hit him with bleed, but there's a health pack right there, so he's not gonna die. Department stores on December 26th be like... I was gonna use the three rune blade for this, so I could be like a Templar Knight or something. And then I realized I was infected with poor person disease, and I don't actually freaking care, so we're just gonna use the normal spike bat. Alright, here's the medic. We're just gonna... Oh god. I have a lot of people bleeding right now. It was kind of worth it, I hit three people. Oh look, it's everybody's favorite weapon. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've said that like a lot of times, but what can I say, I'm just an honest person. If you had to play melee only scout, this would not be the worst choice. I I can think of worse options that you could do just using the melee weapon. Cause at least this gets a damage bonus for something. I don't think we have pyros on our team, but that's not really gonna matter. Here wait. I know how to get a kill. Oh, I've made a friend. Shout out to Goro Akechi. If you're watching this video, you have single-handedly enforced my- Oh! Oh! I got a stun on a stick kill. I honestly didn't even remember what the kill icon for this looked like. Here, wait. Here, oh no! No! People are gonna ruin it! People are gonna ruin it! It's a worthy death. It's not like I was gonna do well anyway. <laughs> this is the second to last weapon, and now we get to play a fun game called Don't Look at a Soldier Because Otherwise You Will Die. Freak out of here. Okay. <laughs> I I don't know how that works. I was like checking my inventory. That guy freaking sucks at aiming. Oh my god. Alright, I'm not gonna rock, paper, scissors anybody else. Oh my god. Um, I might go for a taunt kill on the Sandman because I was gonna do it with the Atomizer and I died trying to cross the two fort bridge. So... If I can get a taunt kill, I'm just going to delete the weapon after that because trying to play with the Sandman just doesn't sound like a fun evening for me. Oh my god, they're all right there. Here, someone jump down into the sewers so I can clobber you with a literal piece of candy. Someone's going to inevitably jump down. It's going to be this guy, a soldier of all people. It's all right though, we got the kill. I, I don't know how I'm doing this well with the candy cane. I was gonna, like, equip my professional kill streak just so I could say, wow, look how much of, like, a chat I am for having a professional kill streak candy cane. And then I realized when I die, I'd have to delete it, so I, I quickly changed my mind on that one. Alright. 
Here, wait, I'm not gonna win this fight anyway, and I know I said I wasn't gonna do rock, paper, scissors, but screw you. Come back here. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Let's go. You know it. Okay. It's alright! <laughs> I, I got the kill pretty much. <laughs> alright. This is my last Pokemon. This is the equivalent of saving your HM slave to be the last after, like, your starter and your dragon type have fainted. But we're gonna brave through it. They really needed to give this thing a different penalty than HP. Because it's not good enough to justify taking the HP penalty anymore. Or anywhere close, even. They should just make the thing do, like, less damage. Because otherwise, no one's gonna freaking use it. One. Oh, I got a crit. Two. Three. Could this be the new meta? Could this be the new meta? Oh, I don't have the ball anymore. Yes! It worked! And there's the ball! Let's go! Oh wait, that's our medic. <laughs> this actually might be a very interesting challenge, because I'm pretty sure the um the Sandman ball actually can benefit from many crits. It's not that hard to win a 1v1 against a bad player using this, because you can just compete or yeah, you can just freaking bonk him in the head with the baseball and pick it back up a bunch of times. <laughs> Alright, we we count those. Oh, <laughs> there's a mini sentry there. You know, playing scout, that feels like a fitting way to go out. Well, let's let's delete my last Pokemon. Um, great blue, blacked out or whited out, depending on your ethnicity. Well, anyway, thank you for watching Scout TF2 Nuzlocke. I'm not sure anybody's done anything like this before. Maybe this is like a common thing. Maybe, maybe I just invented a new trend. If you want to go like play this on your own, and you're like saying, wow, this guy is just such a wasteful person for deleting all these weapons. It literally costed like maybe three scrap to, or not three scrap, like three ref-ish to get all of those. Probably even less than that. Um, it's not that hard to try on your own. You can buy a key for 250 and three ref is like literally two cents at this point. Um, and if you don't want to go through all the trouble, just freaking don't delete the weapons. I did it to make it a good YouTube video, but you don't have to do that if you're doing it on your own. So, thank you for watching. If you want to see something like this with the other classes, let me know. And best of all, have a good one. And don't black out on Route 23. <laughs>